Welcome back to the AI Children's Book Creator, our one-click solution to creating children's books. In this short video, I'm going to be demonstrating new functionality, like when you click the one-click AI Children's Story, you have the ability to put a quick prompt, and then you can write kind of what you want the story to be about, and then that way you have more control over the one-click book creator. Up till now, it's just been that when you press this button, it generates a random story. Obviously, that's useful in some cases, but in other cases, it can be very random and not what you're looking for. So now you have control over what the story will be about, and then you click on Create My Book. So just to quickly show anyone who's new to this channel, an example, example not example, an example of a story that was literally automatically generated based on a prompt, and as you can see, the character consistency in the story is absolutely amazing. And we've been getting some comments about people having difficulty with this. If you do get characters that are not the same or don't look the same, you just click on one of these, the the magic wand icon, this one just here, and then it will just re remake this image. And that way you can get more character consistency. That's just going to help you out. So let me just demonstrate this function. This is a new function. Click on start a new book and then we'll see exactly this new function working. So I'll just press start a new book. So this is what you'll find when you first get started. And you wanna click on this button here, regardless what kind of membership or what kind of credits you have, press this button and then you write a quick prompt. So for example, let's say we wanted to write a book about Joanna, uh, Joanne, uh, Joanna learns to love reading, for example. Uh, let's click create my book and now what you'll see is basically magic the AI is going to start filling in a form which is going to make sure that it's putting in a curious girl named Joanna embarks on a magical adventure made of beloved storybooks so as you can see it's filled in all of the gaps and it's going to be uh, in first person the actual storyline if you want to add your own writing style not sure if i've mentioned this in previous videos you just click on this button here this will save your writing style so every time you write a book it will write it in your writing style you could also just write a demonstration of your writing style like for example hi i'm joanna and whoops joanna and i hate reading books I'm not sure why. I just think they are boring. For example, if you update this, it will fill this for you. And then every time you write a new book, it will just fill this automatically for you. Now let's click create your storybook and just watch how your writing style will be used for these for the following pages of the book, for all 20 pages. Now the reason why this is so important is because when you're uploading your book to Amazon, you'll probably want your, your book to have your writing style as opposed to someone else's writing style or AI writing style. So this is going to give you a bit more creative control over the writing style. So here we go. We've, uh, we've started creating the pages. Once all the pages have been made, next step is to click on this button, as you all already know, and then you wait for that to be created. And once they're all created, you do the text on image. And remember, this is completely automated text on image. Let me just demonstrate it a second for you and just show you some of the results of the images just to conclude this video. So here's the first image. Hi, I'm Joanna. I hate reading books. I'm not sure why. I just think they're boring. So this is the image, the first image. The second image is one day Joanna discovers a mysterious old book in her attic. So here she is, the same character. And as we see, as she opens the book, she is instantly transported to a magical land. So as you can see, this is the same character throughout the story. And the images are just popping up one at a time. You just have to kind of wait for that to happen. If there's any image that's inappropriate, like for example, this one over here, the one with the girl and the boy, all you need to do is just click the magic wand icon and for the price for each regeneration is one credit and then it will just regenerate that image for you so that it matches with the story. So please don't get stuck if you have an image that's not appropriate or not what you need. Just regenerate using this magic wand icon. If you need to look at the prompt that was used to create the image, just click on this eye icon and then it will give you the 
the prompt. And if you want to change it, you can always just type anything you want in here, click the save button and then generate again. If you find the image is way too weird or different, just click the tree and this will reset your branch. This means that it will create a completely unique branch and then you won't get the same type of imaging. But here we go, we're getting a better, better picture now it's better, it's more appropriate. So here are all the images of the story. Along the way, she encounters a unicorn and a dragon. So as you can see, the, the story seems to be pretty good with regards to the, the imaging. And there we go. So now let's go on to the next step, text on image, just to quickly demonstrate that for those of you who are new here. And also for those who already know all about this stuff, just to show you if there's anything new, and there is some new things that I want to sh demonstrate, which is the the ability for you to download the image from this page if you need to, especially for the cover image of the book, you're probably going to want to download. So now if you click on this image right here, you'll be just downloading that image straight away. So if you ever need to download any image from the book, just go to the text on image page and click on the image. And as you can see, it's starting the download. You can, you can download this image and use it for the cover or any other image from the book or you can download the processed image which will pop up right next to it on the right hand side. Okay, so now let's get started with, with uh, automation and text on imaging. Oh, and I need to show you this function as well. And this is the AI now doing its job. As you can see, the AI is processing the entire book right now to make sure that the text is gonna go in the right place. So let's click on start and just watch what happens the AI automatically aligns and resizes the text. Just watch it happen right now. So as we know, the first page of the book is gonna say hi and her name. And so it's about to pop up on the page, but then the AI is gonna move and resize the text to make sure it's in the right place. So the AI has decided to put it at the bottom of the page, maybe because she's looking down there. And so it's more appropriate for it to be down there than up there, even though there's a lot of space up here. If you want to refresh the AI's opinion on this page, just click on this refresh icon. It resets the AI vision result. So if the text is in the wrong place, for whatever reason, you could just reset the AI vision result. And then you can restart and see if the AI has made the same decision or a different decision with regards to where to put the text. So in this case, let's see what the AI has decided. In this case, the AI has decided to put the text still at the bottom. The AI is insisting that the best place for this text is at the bottom. Then you click save and move on to the next image. If you don't wanna to have to do this for each one, just click on this to automate the entire process. And as you can see, the processed image is over here. And again, you can download it just by pressing on it. Uh, it kind of disappeared before we got a chance to see it. But in any event, let's just let's just do one more together and then we'll conclude this video. So this is image number two, page number two, and it's right now going to come on the screen. And let's see where the AI decides to put this. OK, so over here as well, the AI has decided to put it at the bottom. You've got five seconds to move this text and that way you can then make small changes. Oh, here's the image. If you click on this, it will download that image as well. So I just clicked on it and then it will download in a few seconds as well if you need to download the processed image with the text on it. So let me just show you my downloads just to show you that it's working. If I go to downloads, you'll see both images were downloaded. So here's this one. And you can either use it in your own apps or you can make a title page out of it or a cover image for Amazon KDP. So as you can see, the AI, you have five seconds to make any small changes before the AI saves the image. And that's basically it. Those are the two main changes. It's this button and the ability to tell the AI with the one click book generator what to do. Thank you for watching. This was generate.net, spelt like this. Bye for now.